Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, ladies and gentlemen of the internet and every variation in between. I have great news. Figured out the problem. Um, as you may or may not know, if you watched the previous couple episodes, I was asking for advice on what the hell's going on. I uh, figured it was an OBS setting somewhere where, it's, where the recording would get really super wonky and it didn't like anything I was doing when I would move the camera around village. But as you can see now, there's really no issue. Really no issue. Now I, I started to do some testing <laughs> and um, basically what I did was I just started moving, I just recorded over and over and over little samples with different settings in OBS, trying to figure out what the hell's going on here. And um, one thing I did change, just in case you're having the same problem, is uh, I was recording to my hard drive that has a lot more space. And I'm recording in 1080p, so uh, I need more space, I guess, for multiple recordings at the same time. But um, essentially, uh, I, I, I found some info online that said, hey, change to your SSD for your recording location and uh, so I did that didn't do any good it didn't help at all <laughs> I left it there just because I think that will help um, guess what it was a game issue I was uh, I was talking up uh, the game saying no oh, it can't be the game issue never had a problem uh, apparently it's the trees so every time that I would change the setting and I would go and it started to look okay if I did this, everything went crazy because the trees. And it's, you see, it, it just did it just there because it still doesn't like the trees. I turned shadows in the game off. And that's how we are playing right now, recording at 8,000 bitrate, which was my original setting before I lowered it trying to fix the issue. So it's really clear, it should be crystal clear on your screen. You see everything that I see, uh, no pixelation or anything like that, but the trees are still wonky. I think perhaps the new tree type is the problem. So maybe the old trees are fine. New trees, which we currently have, are not fine. And to get rid of those and switch back, I would have to rebuild the whole thing, which wouldn't really be the worst thing in the world. Uh, it wouldn't take too long to get back to this point, but I don't really want to do that. I'd rather just keep going as we go and uh, and just sort of try to fix the problems as we come along into them. Because, hey, it's a let's play. We're showcasing the game. New trees, bad. Uh, shadows, horrible. You know, things, things are just really, really, really bad with the trees. So, <laughs> so that's what it is. Uh, it's the trees. Uh, and, and taking all the shadows off really, really helped a lot. So let's get back into it. Uh, as you know, last episode, we did some farming. Set up our fields. We got wheat. We have buckwheat. We have potato and one fallow field, which is this guy right here. And we set up our marketplace, which, of course, you can see now that it's really uh, bright <laughs> without shadows. <laughs> You can see the individual things in here, which is awesome. We got raspberries, pumpkins, and fish over here. Firewood here. Uh, but things here. <laughs> what we have here? Beetroot, onions, horseradish, and honey. So I'm really excited because now we can play the game and you guys can see, for the most part, exactly what I see. Now I'm going to try to avoid the trees. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to do I'm going to try to do that because uh, quite frankly we need to. We need to. So, we got people looking for jobs. Uh, so, let's make sure we have everybody in a job. Yep, yep, yep. Running low on iron, so one of the next things we're going to have to do is get a trading post up because we're going to have to trade for iron. We have to. 
So we have two options here. We have the uh, the on land trading post, which is like this. It's pretty big, and I think it would probably go over here somewhere, just by the by the town center. We also have the uh, the trading dock, which goes on the water. And I think that's the one I'm going to use for now. I'm going to put that guy right there. We're going to bring him up after the next, uh, the next house is built. The reason we're going to do that is we're eventually going to run out of iron. There's no way currently in the game. I know it's on the road map. They're working on it. Uh, but there's no way currently in the game to mine iron yourself. Now you can trade for iron ore and smelt that into iron yourself with the, um, where's it at? Eh, the smeltery here. It also has to go on water. It has no water current. It needs water current apparently. So we need like a, a small, um, Uh, a, a narrow river section. Oh, that's off the map. Maybe, uh, maybe we can't do this one on this map. That would really suck because, uh, to be honest, out here. That's a new thing on the game, and this is a new map. So if those two things don't go together. That would be a problem, right? So I think that might not be an option this time. That really sucks. Not enough good dudes at the at the what you would call it, <clears throat> but we have a new dude. He's moving in right now. Uh, Dimitro. Oh, we have Petro, 27 years old. He might be able to go and uh, and marry Feina here. <laughs> That would be good. He's working at the boatyard. Oh, the, so the boatyard guy must have moved over here. That's good. That's good. Let's check on our crops here. They're ripening currently. Good. So we're in late July right now. They're probably not going to get ripe by August, but August is harvest season, so we'll just have to see how it goes and how much we get. Uh, we've already set this up to store what we have here. We we do want to make flour. We're going to need a windmill at some point. So I think we're going to we're going to put this out here uh, by the farm. Actually, we'll put it out here by kind of over here, out of the way, sort of in between the farm and the granary. That's going to store the excess. And I think things are going okay. We have uh, an unbelievable amount of fish. So I think perhaps we should store fish here. Store 2,000 fish here. Because, quite frankly, <laughs> we have too much fish. Maybe we, can, uh, maybe we can outsource some of that fish once we get... Um, Ooh, a child was born to the Krivoflafo family. Wow, they are... They're going wild here. Uh, Vadim and Hafia. They are just populating us like crazy. Like nobody's business. That is great. Uh, some of these guys have way too much money. <laughs> oh, Petro and Fiena have married. Look, look at that. Look at that. And they moved into this house, I think. They did. Look. That is awesome. He's unemployed. That sucks. So he's looking for work, I guess. But he can work at the farm because now it is harvest season. Let's check it out. These guys are going to go up here and just start harvesting the field. Perfect. Liking it. Liking it a lot. We're dangerously close to the trees now, so I'm, I'm 
I'm consciously aware of this. I'm trying to stay away as much as I can because this tree's bad. <laughs> Do not want tree. So now we can put, uh, let's see, we can put some, uh, some buckwheat here. And some potatoes here. And we'll put flour here as well. We will eventually have flour. That's it. So they haven't actually brought any in. Uh, yeah, they have. They have. But uh, buckwheat and potato, people would just buy that off the market. You don't have to transform that into anything else. Wheat, nobody, nobody wants it until it's flour. We'll work on that. No problem there. I really enjoy this game quite a lot. I mean, it's it's so intricate in some of the things that it does. Uh, trees aside, I'm really loving it. And I like the look of the new trees, but they must just not be optimized very well. Uh, maybe there's just too much foliage on them. Too many uh, leafy things, perhaps. Um, or, or pine needles, whatever the case may be. So, you know, it it is what it is. We're just gonna have to uh, we're just gonna have to deal with that, you know. We have to deal with that. But again, I I, I want to stress that as I'm playing the game, there's no issue, even with shadows on, no issue at all. It's just trying to record that. I think there's just too much going on there. For the computer to the computer's just like wait wait what what is this what is happening it doesn't know so can't figure it out it takes a little bit to, to try to uh, organize itself and uh, that's where we run into the issues so you know it's okay it's all right I, I, I'm okay with the because it's an alpha build I'm sure optimization is one of those things that's that's going to happen, but that it, it's not happening currently. <laughs> but that's all right. I mean, it's uh, to be honest, if that's the only problem they have right now with optimization is the new tree type with shadows, and it's only a problem if you're recording in 1080p at 60 frames a second, I don't see that as a very big problem, really. I mean, obviously, they, they're, they're going to want to optimize that for the streamers, for the for the video content creators and things like that, but uh, I don't see it as a huge problem. If you know, if if at this point they just want to have a working, functional game that people enjoy, and I think they have that. Optimization can come later, in my view. Uh, let's see, let's get a couple of these guys working at the field because they we need them. <laughs> We're in October now. Uh, we only have like a month and a half to go before harvest season's over. So I learned this early on in the game, playing it uh, in its earliest builds, is if you don't See, we have all our wheat sitting out here. You'll see the you'll see the individuals when they when they finish harvesting their line, their row, they'll pick up two items and take it back. You will watch this chick right here. They'll pick up two things and take them back. See, there's one and there's two. They all do that, but there's going to be some left over, and that's what you see here. Is all these uh, piles of wheat laying around? And I mean that's good. We have we have a lot of wheat. But the fact is, if they don't gather all this and put it into the granary or the farm in time, you know, basically by December, the start of December, you know, it's just gonna rot away, it just starts disappearing. And that's not what you want. 
but we definitely do not want that to happen so we have some buckwheat for sale here that is excellent nobody's bought any yet <laughs> I'm sure they will I'm sure they will and it'll be great so we got some more uh, some more people coming through here to hit the fields up and after the buckwheat we just have the potatoes uh, they only grew about a third of the way really kind of sucks and, and a lot of that has to do with the time it took in, in which to plant them. This grew about halfway. This, uh, the wheat grew like probably three quarters of the way, maybe, or if not close to that, because it was the first thing that, that was put in. And we just have such a limited labor force right now to utilize in the farm that that's, that's kind of the issue currently is, you know, uh, we just need more people <laughs> to do this stuff. So now we have a lot of folks in here harvesting. And now, like I mentioned before, we want to, um, on the off season, we want to have one person. Because uh, they have to thresh the harvest. They have to get it all, all situated and, and prepared and, uh, and stored away properly. So we'll have to have one, one lady doing that. And again, the manager doesn't do anything. <laughs> they are just there to watch and observe. They care not for menial tasks like labor or doing things. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to, we're going to start, uh, we already started harvesting the, uh, the potatoes, we have some in here. We've already, we sold 20 buckwheat. Look at that. Right. And somebody's buying some potatoes right now. They're buying 10 potatoes. Watch. Come. Where are they at? Is it her? Yeah, here she is. Nope. That wasn't her. She bought something out of here. Wow, look how much this stuff they're buying, dude. They're loving this stuff. That is awesome. Do we have any more thing? Oh yeah, we have peas, carrots, cucumbers, cabbage. Oh yeah. So we'll put those here. Cabbage, cucumbers, carrot, peas. Have somebody working in there. Another house was built. Was it? No. Something else. Something got done. Oh, it was, uh, no. What? Something just like dinged and I, I wasn't looking. All right, so now we have a problem. We have all this wheat and nobody is gathering it and it is snowing. That's a bad problem. So they're, they're getting it now, but this stuff's just going to start disappearing. Hopefully they get most of it before it rots away or is ruined from freezing. Looks like they're going to get all of it. Oh, awesome. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So we've maxed out our buckwheat. And really, we can start selling some of this stuff once we get our trading dock up. Oh, I, that's what it was. <laughs> So let's put um, let's put a, th a two thousand buckwheat in here. We're gonna have uh, laborer by cart, carter, wagoner, laborer by hand. They're gonna start filling this up. This is gonna be a temporary stock. So when we sell this, it won't automatically replenish. Um, I think maybe the same, no, we're not going to do the same thing for potatoes. We didn't get that many. And, uh, I kind of want to get the windmill going after this house. So we don't have anybody looking for work. We have, well, we have, okay. So the guys are looking for work now. 
A lot of guys are looking for work now. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, we can we can have a lot of people doing construction. There's still two more looking for work for 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 men, so do another one, I guess. That'll be fine. No problem. Actually, we can put a guy to work at the smithy. We still wow. It's awesome. So now we're starting to get our labor force built up here, which is excellent. We're not as up against the wall as we once were. Our buckwheat's in here. We don't have very much left. We have a lot of wheat, so we want to get uh, get our windmill going. Get our house built. This is that clickety clack of the hammer and nails. <laughs> <clears throat> That's awesome. These guys are machines, man. Just house building freaking machines. I love it. Are we going to get it done in time? Or, I mean, well, not in time, but before they quit? Oh, yeah. No jobs available? Are you serious? Okay, so let's go in here. Higher options. Uh, this is going to be men only, I think. We need a manager. And we want a worker. Let's take a guy out of here to work in, in this area. Because again, the managers don't really do any work. <laughs> so we have to have a worker here for when we sell this, but we don't need him right now. We just need him when we actually sell something. So, um, all right, our windmill is done. We want... Uh, We want, let's see, yeah, 500 is fine. And we want somebody in here turning this into wheat, or pff, this into flour. It's already wheat. Still have some in here. Looks like it's going over to, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll fill up the granary now, which is great. We have nobody doing that. Why not? <laughs> there we go. Perfect. So we got Zuvirid, uh, Hiriniv, Hiriniv, Hiriniv. Whatever the case may be, he's going to make uh, flour now, <laughs> which is going to be sold right here. That'll be excellent. So as soon as he's done with his batch, uh, she should go and grab it. He just went on break. <laughs> he's going home. He's just going to have a, a good old time at the house. You know, that's fine. We have another. Oh, we had a new family move in here. Unemployed, unemployed, and we have no jobs available, so that's that's okay. I'm okay with that for now. We don't need somebody immediately. Um, let's see, how much wheat do we? We have a lot of wheat, so let's bring another guy in here. If there's two of them doing it at the same time, it's like this progress bar here goes up much faster. But if, let's say, this guy goes on break like he's doing now, he's going home to take a rest... This guy can still keep going and make this uh, make this wheat, which is great. So now we have wheat on the market. People are going to be loving that wheat, potatoes, and buckwheat. We've got all. I mean, we have so much stuff, and we've we've sold all of our peas and 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 uh, or not all our peas, but all of our cabbage and all of our cucumbers already. Make sure. So we have garlic. Is that here? No. We need to put garlic in here. There we go. 
Honey, garlic, peas, carrot, onion, horseradish. I think we have everything now, yeah. So everything that we currently can have on the market is on the market. That's awesome. We need to uh, just set up some honey somewhere to be sold, you know? Jeez. All right, so the farming is going to happen. So now that we've done a crop rotation, this, this one's now going to be buckwheat. This one... This one's going to be potato, this one's going to be fallow, and this one is going to be wheat. So this should be the last one that they plant. Sowing the buckwheat now. It should go here, 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 here. Yeah. So this is one, two, three, four. All right, let's bring this down a little bit. We're not... We're not we don't need to um, construct things that crazily yet. Oh, okay, so we have our first orchard ready to go. We're going to make, um, we're going to have apple trees here. Only going to hire women because they can and they will. <laughs> and uh, we'll hire somebody. I'm certain that there are women who... Um, who need some work. So we'll, we'll just have them working on this, which is going to be great. Oh yeah, we have uh, Oksana. She's coming in here to plant some apple trees. And you see she plants each individual tree. And then when they, uh, when they ripen, she's going to go out and harvest the, the crop. And then we can sell that on the market. It'll be great. We need another granary. <laughs> we need another granary already. Put it right behind this one. We'll put this at the end and go ahead and unpause it. Okay, so we have our first messenger. It shows up down here. Little ding ding. You heard messenger from Paniutine is visiting now. Down here at the bottom, click on that and it'll pull it up. So you, the red letters show you where they're coming from. And they came up the river here. What they offer is uh, salt, iron ore, honey, <laughs> mead, and dried fish. And what they want is on their demands list. Hmm. We don't really have excess of, of what they want. They want a lot of flour. And we may at some point be able to fill that order, but um, yeah, iron ore is not going to happen because we would have to smelt that. And as we learned earlier on in this, this episode, we can't do that. So we're not going to trade with them right now. We want straight up iron. And it's telling us right here, you're running out of iron, build a trading post to be able to import it. Um, there is another place, Barvin Cove, who will come by C. And hopefully they have something that, uh, that we want. But we're still losing money, so what we're going to do, lower the basic monthly wage, market products price, we're going to bump that up. Purchase price, we'll bump that down a little bit. And land tax, we're going to put up to 50 cents. We'll see if those tweaks bankrupt our people <laughs> or not. Uh, it's it's, it's kind of hard finding that balance because you don't know exactly how it's going to work out until you just let the game run a little bit and see. So, I think we'll be okay. But uh, we definitely don't need two guys here now because, um, quite frankly, we're running out of iron. And before too long, they're just not going to have anything to do. Um, nobody's looking for work because they're all farming. That's perfect. <laughs> so did this get planted? It is. Potatoes it, it is, is sown. 
And this is fallow. So this is next. This is our wheat for next season. And they're getting that completed. Almost done, actually. So much better this time. Yeah. Just took us until the end of April. So basically two months to sow these three fields. That's, that's still not good enough. Still not fast enough, I don't think. But, um, you know, that's okay. I, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Hey, thanks for checking out what is episode number three in our new Oster of Alpha 4 series. If you liked what you saw, please drop a like on the video. If you didn't, feel free to downvote it. Either way, please leave a comment down below what you think about the game, what you would like to see, and uh, and what the first production chain you think we should do. And of course, we still haven't named our village, so drop a suggestion in down there as well for the name of our 18th century village. We'll see you next time. Bye.